guys, welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. I got a quick video for y'all Sunday, and we're gonna be doing some ribeye steaks right here. So let's just go on and get to it. I got some hardcore carnivore by um, Jess Prowse. Um, this is the hardcore can of carnivore black, and we're gonna be using this. And today, guys, I'm gonna be cooking this on the PK. I got this PK not long ago, and we're gonna be putting it on there for the first time. Uh, as far as ribeyes, sir. So what I'm gonna do, I dried these ribeyes off and I got these from Costco. So Costco usually has some good ribeyes. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of get a nice even coat over here, you know, kind of go across. There had to be, I'm cooking at home, so this is not for a competition or anything. So I'm not even trimming these for a competition. I'm just putting this season on here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it sit while we get the fire going. Just get it all around there. And I, I haven't used this black before, so on steak, so I wanna see really how it does. But I figure you gotta get an even coating. And since these are like probably maybe one inch and a half inch steaks, then I'm gonna get enough um, seasoning on it. Don't be scared to season it. So just turn that over. And then we're gonna do the other side. So while I'm doing this, I like to get the edges too. Some of that fat, because I love the fat on ribeyes. Get to all your edges. Okay. Pat that in a little bit. It's gonna get a little messy. That's looking good. I look like it's gonna be good. I did taste this by hand and it did Seemed like it was, I mean, it tastes, had a lot of good flavor in it. Let's go and get these other two. But like, I'm not trying to be too neat. You're in the house, cooking for your family. And you just want to get this all across. I kind of got, you know, see, I guess I need to rub it over on the edges just to get that kind of even. Go around. I want flavor all on these edges right here, guys, when it's grilled up. Now, I don't know how well... Um, this is going to do on the grill grates because I have grill grates out there and the grill grates is supposed to be giving me my grill marks but we're going to see if it leaves grill marks or it just stays black and that's all you really have to do get that on there I'm going to let this sit for about I'm missing a little bit right there I'm going to let this sit for about 10-15 minutes kind of come down to room temperature then you know it's some things you could not waste. I got the little um, styrofoam that came in, and what I'm gonna do is just, I washed it out, cleaned it out, stopped wasting dishes, put that in there, and I'll see y'all outside once these, uh, my fire gets up. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so, so we out here at the PK Grill, and I don't have a um, laser thermometer, so I'm re reading off the little gauge I have in the back. And just to let y'all know, I was reading about, you know, about 400, maybe 450. And that's the internal tip of this whole pit. This thing gets hot. I've only used this a few times, so we're gonna test it out on these grill grates. Cook some other things on grill grates. I let this get hot, light it with my loof lighter. If you don't know what that is, I'll leave a link in the description. But it's an air lighter, and I went on to lit these coals, put it all over the bottom grate. I got the stainless steel grates with this, and the loof, uh, and the um, the grill grates right here, and the um, other grates are stainless, so it's easy to clean. But let's go ahead and put this on. So since these are pretty big, if I had two, I can rotate them this way. Right now, I'm going to put these on. So what I'll do, I'll put these on right here, and I'll put another one on right here press it down on the grate so we want those grill marks and i'm gonna put the other two over here press it down get some marks on that and then put the other one like this and what i'll do guys i'm gonna go ahead and close this let it cook for a little while i'm gonna use my thermal pop pen to keep um an eye on the temperature keep these on this side for maybe two, three minutes, maybe four minutes. And then I'm gonna rotate them and try to get other marks and then I'll flip them. And this thing right here, guys, you can throw this away. You don't wanna use that again. I'll use a regular pan. So just stay tuned. 
go ahead and have your nice beer. Got me some shiner right here. And enjoy and watch it. Enjoy the smoke. Stay tuned and we'll come back and we'll check on these boys. Just give, go ahead and give it a close. There you go. All right, guys, so I'm back. I told you it's going to be about three, four minutes. It's been about four minutes. So I'm going to open this up. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to give these a turn the other opposite way. Take that. Turn the opposite. Hopefully they give me some cross hatches. So we're going to see. This is trial and error. Press it down. Take this. Kind of stick it a little bit. Turn that. And do the same over here. Turn it the opposite way. That make it make a, a cross hatch. And we're gonna do the same to the other side. Not really worry about the internal temperature right now until I turn them over. And we're gonna let these set again. Another three to four minutes. All right, guys. So it's been about another three to four minutes. And like I said, this thing is cooking hot. What I did fail to mention before I open this, I did open up all the vents on top and bottom in order to give this maximum heat. So let's go ahead and open it. And let's see what these look like. Go ahead and give them a turn. And I'm gonna turn it this way. My, oh my. Guys, this looking like some good steak. That looks like restaurant quality. Now, because this is the black seasoning, you really can't see what the cross hatches look, but it looks good. And I'm gonna take a temperature reading, guys, just to see in one of these thick ones. 121, 119. So it shouldn't be that long. I wanna bring these up to about at least 130. And I mean, that right there, that's kind of like your medium rare. 129, 131. Ooh, that's there. 128, 125, 123, 122. 128, it's going down. Let's see this one. This one's kind of high. It's going down. So some of these might come off. So, so I think this one right here is going to come off early. I'm going to close it for a time being. And these should come up fast. So I might take this one off first. And then go ahead and take these off a little bit in a minute. So let's go ahead and close it. I'm going to give this about two minutes, two or three minutes, and come back and check it. And we should be all done. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and open and check these again. Now, like I said, this one right here was pretty much almost done. And it's, it's going to be higher than the other one. I think this is a hot spot right here. Like I said, we're going by trial and error. Let's see what I got. That one's a little high, so let's take that off. I don't like how high that is. Maybe it's gonna be good when I, um, you know, finish it up. I wanna check these other ones, because I think they might be ready. Put this over here. 125, 132, yep, that's ready. And if you want to, guys, you can put butter on these, a little a compound butter, but I'm gonna leave these as is today. Compound butter is pretty good. Ooh, it's down a little high. Now, this might be a hot spot. Yeah, this is a little high. 144, 143. So, that's going to be a little, a little medium because this is a smaller steak right here. Let's look at this one. That's looking pretty high. These, these two are going to be medium. 141. All right, so let's take these off. So, these will be a little more done right there. And... Go ahead and close this. We're gonna let them sit for about 10 minutes and then we'll, we'll cut into them. If you want to, they can sit for like 20 or 30, but these are pretty much done. The temperature will come up a little bit, but I guarantee you when we cut these, these are gonna look real good. All right, guys, so here we are. Got the steaks, they have been resting maybe 20 minutes because I got some baked potatoes inside the oven and they're almost done. So I want them to rest. I want them to, you know, get sucking all this juice. 
So let's just see how this, this came out. I'm gonna turn this right here and I'm gonna cut it down the middle. And I think we did a good job. Look at that guys. Look at that. Now I kind of didn't cut with the grain <laughs> a little bit. Um, trying to figure out where the grain was. So let me just cut it again, since we know the grain's going. And my knife. Okay, there we go. And this will get a little more red. That is pink, guys. So that's a good medium right there. As you can see, pretty much even all the way down, as you can see. And let's see if I got some consistency, guys. Keep that going right there. I want y'all to good old steak. I want to cut this big one. And I want to see, hopefully, I get some good consistency. Let me just cut it down the middle again. I don't care. Okay. Just to see. Nice medium right there. Nice medium. Didn't overcook it. Looks pretty dang good. Stack that on there so y'all can see that. Nice medium color right there. Looking real good, nice grill marks. So let's go ahead and cut a piece off of this, guys. And I'm gonna see how this tastes. Nice and tender. Mm, look, look at all that juice. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Real good. This seasoning right here, that's some good stuff. I like the way that came out. Nice taste to it, the, the, the seasoning. The rub really penetrated the meat. And guys, I, I put rub on this maybe about 10, 20 minutes before I put this on the, on the grill. And I feel like this rub, by doing that, it penetrated the meat. I was scared a little bit. Maybe my thermometer is off right there, but I don't think it is. It's, it's by Thermoworks. So maybe it was just getting hot. But it came out of a real good medium. I got some other steaks over here. And I'm sad. Hey, I'm satisfied. That's the way I like them. I like it a little more red, a little more. Um, but as long as it got some that, that good pink, even pink right there, I think we did real good, guys. So hey, I appreciate y'all enjoying this quick video of my dinner tonight with my family. And stay tuned for more videos. Till next time, toothpicks.